today's video will be different. I won't be showcasing any of the strongest builds. I will just pick cutest girl and pick the most manly weapon and go in and try to survive with my worst opponent being myself and this build. Because as you can see, the projectiles can hurt me and they will hurt me a lot as times go on. And well, I won't be actively trying to stop them from doing that by picking correct perks either. Because, as you can see, even my rune mastery is not really working with me right now. But oh well, that is the purpose after all. To make my, to make my life miserable. And here I will pick power shot. Because splinter will hurt me the most out of any upgrade besides maybe a fan of bullets but we will see as time goes on how it will all perform and it will be probably in terrible fashion for me because well my field of movement will be more and more limited the more projectiles uh, nothing is particularly dangerous for me here so i will just re-roll re the upgrades and here we also don't see anything very bad. So I guess I will just pick this because I don't have Divine Shield anymore anyway. So yeah, it will do nothing for the time being. And I'm still counting on getting the perks because that will make this video actually somewhat interesting. Instead of just trying to survive without taking damage or without killing opponents. This all is nothing in comparison with actively trying to hurt yourself while beating the mode. So yeah, wish me luck because I will need it. And here we have the upgrade. And it is very limiting when it comes to my movement already because I have to avoid every single red point on the screen. And unfortunately but the screen will only get turned more and more red as time goes on. Which is pretty bad for me, unfortunately. And something that I... Okay, I'm great. I guess more bullets never will hurt me. Well, they will hurt me, but that's the purpose of this. So let's further explain why, is, why did I choose to maybe do this build. Well, I simply enjoyed playing with Grenade Launcher and I think that this girl is cute. So I combined the two and I decided that challenge run like that won't be all that bad. Why I didn't choose maybe Abby, who can simply shoot projectiles in random, random directions, but well, that would be too easy because the projectiles wouldn't hit enemies as much and if they don't hurt, don't hurt enemies, they also don't explode into splinters. And if they don't explode into splinters, I don't take as much damage. Okay, let's reroll the upgrades. And we still don't see anything particularly bad. So I guess I will just take reload because the more I can shoot, the more I can hurt myself. That is pretty much the purpose of this build. So it synergizes really, really well. Oh, well. The enemies are still not really threatening, and they pretty much won't be. Well, nothing really bad. And here we have faster firing. I guess it will be pretty bad to fire even faster. Well, to coming back to what I was saying, the enemies won't be really threatening during this playthrough at all. My biggest threat is myself in this build, and rerolling upgrades to get even worse ones for myself it's actually pretty good. I guess I will choose Rubel Bullets that will not allow me to even kill any boss, but it's pretty bad for me. Although there is argument to be made to actually, instead of buying rubber bullets, re-rolling and looking for a fan of projectiles or bullets or whatever it is called. And I think maybe I should even do that. And here it is. Great. Fun fire. And as you can see, this is really limiting my movement, probably much more than the 
rubber bullets would because I can't really move into any direction unless opponents are already there and here we can see first mini boss so let's maybe kill him and not die in the process but that won't be all that easy because my movement is extremely limited by myself but well maybe just don't shoot but that would be too easy wouldn't it be Ech, all of this is pretty good for me so let's reroll re and okay that is okay it will make splinters move even closer to me because well that's what bullet speed does okay let's try to get it yes uh, three halo pieces oh great now i can take Halo pieces that won't do anything for new, for few next level ups, which is pretty good, I guess. It's additional challenge after all. Okay, it is not going that bad. It's actually going better than I predicted it will, but maybe that's also somewhat bad, consider considering the theme of this video. Okay, and did we get? Oh, that is interesting. Let's take this. I was about to look for the uh, halo pieces, but let's not do this just yet. Let's just take more projectiles in more damage to myself. Oh, recently I was watching quite a bit of some stupid animations from Naruto, and like, they are really weird sometimes. Not as weird as this build, but they can be pretty weird, I will admit. And I should kind of focus a bit more because I just killed myself. Great. This was the purpose of this build and this is how I showcased it. I hope you liked it. If you do subscribe and leave a like. Well, it was pretty different video from what I usually do. Maybe I should be a, bit, a little bit more emotional. But well, I, I was enjoying it honestly. Well, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.